Hey, how are you? We're at the beach. It's real nice, warm, sunny day. Got hit up to my knees. Guy tumbling back into the ocean before a seagull gets it. Come on, buddy, get going. There he goes. Poof, he survived. in the water today. We're not usually actually in the water, but today we are. Usually we're just walking on the sand. Today we're in the water. These guys are probably looking to eat the uh, the sand crabs, like the one that we just saw tumbling. They really like to eat them. I've never eaten them before, but I mean, if I was deserted on a treasure island, I would probably try them. And I've always imagined that they're like little langostino, like maybe it's just tasting like a little bit, of, like a little crab, because they are crabs of some sort. They are these little bullet crabs shaped like those uh, miniature version of the, the old uh, Dungeons and Dragons monster from the, the first uh, game and the first monster manual. It was called a bullet or a bullet, right? B-U-L-L-E-T-T-E. -E. They look just like that, except they're about two to three inches long or two inches long, instead of like 20 feet long like they were in d and Hope you guys saw that. That was cool.
see if she got one. Oh no, that's it's a, it's a shell. She thought it was going to be something. She thought it would be one. I think I've talked about this before. With seagulls, it's really easy to differentiate males and females. This is a female. This brown colored bird. That's another female. And then the birds that you know as seagulls, like in the movies or on greeting cards, are the males. The white ones with the bright yellow beak with the little red band on it. These guys up here are males. Snowy Plover, I think is the name of that bird. That's flying there in that group. I think they're called Plovers. I think they're snowy one. I think they're called snowy because they have the white on them. I could be wrong. They look a lot like sandpipers, but they're smaller and they don't fly the same. They move differently than the sandpipers. But similar, I mean, look, they do the same thing. They're running up the beach. In a group, see how they do that? <sighs> There's a lot of sand dollars on this beach. These are some nice examples that look pretty good. A lot of times what you'll see is, so the animal could still be in here alive. Um, they look like they're still alive, these particular ones, you know. There's an animal that, that lives inside of here, in that little hole. Uh, but a lot of times you'll see them like this. See this? Now this isn't necessarily because anybody stepped on it. It's because those snowy plovers and those... Uh, sandpipers that I mentioned. Those birds have these long skinny beaks and they peck the top of these out and then eat the animal inside. And so that's a lot of the reason why you'll see the sand dollars that will have the top punched in like that is because uh, these little guys right here, they will, they're eating them. Not eating them now, but that's who eats the sand dollars. Also, they're just not eating it right now. It actually, I don't know. These are the plovers, but it might be the uh, the sandpipers that are a little bit larger bird with a little bit longer uh, bill, and they're maybe the ones that really uh, eat the sand dollars more. A lot of bird activity today. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's multiple species flying around in the same spot. It's kind of cool. The crows. There's tracks from the beach patrol from this morning. They just came through recently. I haven't seen a lot of crab yet this year, very very little. I haven't seen any guys up out on the sand yet. Maybe just a little bit in the early morning when the tide is really low, when it goes out after it coming, being in. Perhaps, I mean, you can see there's some that were eaten by birds that are down here right now. 
this is just stuff from this morning. There's not very many. In the, in the old days, years past, this place might be covered in dip crabs. Really, lots. Like, you might see 50 of them in, in, during my walk. And at times, they're so... In years past, over the years, uh, there was, there's, so, there's so many of them here on this beach that you can catch them with your hands. Full-size, big Dungeness crab like a, you get at the restaurant. You can just catch them with your hands here. In the old days, it's been a few years since they've uh, been up on the beaches like they used to be. But they'll be back, hopefully. There used to be so much crab here that when I would walk out to go surfing, like in this spot, like really, really right over where those birds are, I would go out because we're in the kind of the inside the cove, but over there, there's that's kind of the outside of the cove, and then you come around, come around this way. I would walk out right there, and I would step on crabs, like I could feel them under my feet, like full-size crab. I could push them down into the sand step directly on their backs because they were like right under your feet sometimes you would see them through the water and sometimes you could just feel them with your feet and i never got pinched i've never been pinched by a crab uh, but my cousin has it wasn't a pleasant experience i watched it happen i watched it happen i felt partially responsible wow it's beautiful right here I wish I had a wetsuit on, because I would just jump right in and take you guys in there with me. I'm, I'm in the mood, but all of my wetsuits are packed inside of boxes. Drinking uh, Vita Coco coconut water, the original. It's pretty good. It's not the best, but it was all they had at the store just now. In the in cocoa water, that went okay. Coconut water. <sighs> okay. Well, thanks for joining me. Hey been me the whole time. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this walk to the beach or walk at the beach. And I'll see you next time. Hope you have a great day or evening. Thanks for watching.